Hi guys, today I'm going to try to uh, videotape changing the, the new electronic uh, voltage regulator on the Fiat 500. Currently I have the old one inside. Um, I'm changing it because on my dash light uh, the generator light is staying on and uh, I measured the voltage and it just didn't give me any voltage. So uh, I hope that this will fix it. It's a little bit of pain to get to. I will show you where that, where that is. It's um, here behind. I basically have to take off the filter. It's there in the back in the corners. It's uh, very annoying to get to. So I'm going to, I'm going to disconnect the battery from the filter side. It's actually that box there, yeah, this box. It's uh, difficult to get at. Two bolts and then of course the cables. So I have to remove, remove this first. It's uh, a bolt, number 10 bolt. You have to be careful not to lose the bolt. It falls down. I already noted the, the cables, in my case here yellow on the left, red in the center. See, no space for my wrench. See how far the, the cables go. So we want to duplicate it on the new one. Okay, now at least I can see them. Um, I will do it from here, I guess. Yellow on the left, red there. And then this one on the right, okay. Number 10. It has a little flat thing in the back, I think, with the threads. I hope I don't lose it down, because I need them. The new one doesn't come with any screws. to me but let's see no I can't oh yeah actually a little bit it's an easy job but the space no space Thank you. 
see I'm taking it out with my fingers. I see the the connector actually has a thread. Okay, so this is the first one. Very annoying here that you cannot. Okay, so this is the first one. But I don't think my new one has threads. Oh yeah, it actually does. Okay. The new one actually has threads as well. So the first one I did was le uh, the left one. I hope I don't drop the screw. Okay, that was fairly easy. Yes, I will tighten it later. So the first one is in. Now let's take the second one from the old one. I have the second one. Let's put it on. I'm just hoping that it doesn't fall down. Okay, good. Second cable is on. Now the last one. So it's a, a screw bolt of 10 metric. Okay, the old device is out. very tight space okay so all three are on now I'm just going to put it in I should put that rubber. There's an old rubber uh, flange. I don't know if this is needed. Maybe to take it off, I don't know. There's rubber. I guess before uh, you would hear the relays, but now I don't think that we need this. Now I will take it, I will take this off. I think it has a it would have a little bit of air from the back here, it's good. It 
actually fits perfect on the, the same bolts. Yeah, I think it's good that it kind of floats. So I will just tighten everything with fastening bolts and uh, screws for the contacts. Again with the number 10. A little bit difficult to get to. Now the contacts. Basically, this is it. The new one is in. I'm just going to put back the, the filter cover with the two pipes. And as you can see, it, it's right there with the space in the back. So we'll see how that goes. So the car is started and no generator online. So that's a good sign. Now I'm just going to measure the voltage.